Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this session, we will be learn how we can use Python calendar module. So guys, Python calendar is nothing, it's a module. This module contains useful function and properties for the calendar operation. Using this module, we can print and manipulate the calendars. And this particular module has three important classes. So let me go to the Jupyter notebook and explore its three important classes, okay? So we have three classes, which is calendar, text calendar, and HTML calendar. So first of all, we need to import the module, which is calendar. Now let's take a look at the list of useful function in this module. So print, not n i so these are the useful method and properties for the calendar module now how we can print the calendar for a specific month so simple we can use calendar and let's say month so first of all i'm going to show the doc string so here the doc string return a month calendars string so what is the parameter so parameter is the year you can pass any of the year and any of the month. And here you can pass your vertical width and horizontal width, okay? So let me give you an example. So simple print calendar dot month, okay? The year, you can pass your year, any of the year, right? So I'm going to pass the current year, which is 2020. And you can pass the month as well. So I'm going to pass this one 12 and for an example, W equal to one and, and L equal to one. So here W for the vertical width and L for the horizontal width. Okay. So here you can mention any year or the month to print the calendar. Now let's say I'm going to change the vertical width. For example, two, or let's say maybe four. So you can see that, right? Now, when I'm changing the horizontal width, it is changing. So this is like very useful function to print the any calendar for the specific month. Now, let me change this example. I'm taking a variable, which is CL equal to, this is my the module name. And here I'm using the text calendar. Calendar dot, Sunday. Okay, so you can start your calendar from any of the day. Okay, so here I'm going to start my the calendar from a Sunday. And after that print CL dot format month format month. And here you can pass 2020 and the current. Simple. Okay. Now, the same example, once again, I'm going to transform, which is my calendar equal to calendar and text calendar. And here you can mention your first weekdays. Let's say here, I'm going to mention seven. So seven means your calendar will be print from Monday. Let's say year equal to 2021 and month equal to first and print my calendar format month and year and month. So the my calendar is printing from the Monday. In case if I if I mention here six, so the my calendar will print the from Sunday. Okay, so these things you need to remember. Now, now the question is how you can print the calendar for a entire year. Year could be anything. Let's say calendar and text calendar, first weekday. And here I am going to write minus one. And per year, let's say 2021. So guys here, what's the means of minus one? So minus one is nothing. So minus one for the Sunday. 
in first weekday and zero for a monday in first weekday let me give you an example so this when i'm using minus 1 your calendar will start from the sunday okay and if you will mention here zero your calendar will start from the monday these thing okay so you can use minus 1 0 and 1 2 3 and so on for the specific weekday now let's say calendar and per month and here you can use 2020 and 1 you can get the calendar also so using this function we can print the calendar also okay so we have seen lots of method by which we can print the calendar for the specific year and month now the question is how you can check the leap year or like not leap year so simple calendar is leap so 2020 is a leap year and calendar is leap when you mention 2021 so it is false okay now let's say from the 2000 and uh, to 2020 you want to check how many leap days so simple calendar dot leap days your first year which is let's say 2000 and 2020 so we have only the five days okay now now how you can print the week header okay so simple print calendar dot okay let me pass here let's say one so it will give you the initial character for the weekday and if i am going to pass two the two character if you will pass three then you will have a short abbreviation form and when you pass nine then you will have the full name okay so you can use this method if you need now how you can print the particular day for a specific month right so simple calendar dot month calendar and here you can pass any of the year and any month so these are the day okay and the same how how you can print the weekdays so simple let's say for i n c let's say calendar dot calendar this is the function of the calendar module and after that i am using iter weekdays this one now print i and okay so these are the weekdays and the same we can print the dates for the specific month let me copy this line paste here and instead of iter weekdays we can have iter month days so here you need to pass your year and for the which month you want simple right and here you can also use iter month dates so you can print the date as well okay so these function are very useful now now how you can print the month name so simple for name in calendar dot month name and print name which is and equal to this one so these are the month name okay very elegant method to print the month name now at the last how you can print your calendar in a html mode so simple i am going to take a variable which is html calendar equal to calendar and here you can mention html calendar and after that print html and format month and here you can mention your okay so this is the html code for the month so let me copy this paste let me copy 
and paste my calendar and I'm going to save in a HTML extension. HTML. Now, this one open with. So you can print your HTML calendar using the HTML calendar function. Now, you can run this particular code on your web browser. Okay, so using this method, which is HTML uh, calendar, you can print the HTML code as well for the calendar. Okay, so guys, this is all about the Python calendar module. If you have any question on this, so let me know in the comment below. Definitely, I would love to help you out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.